concepts data stage parallelize some techniques and data partitioning methods in this video i am going to talk about the data stage configuration file configuration file is the very basic necessity of any data stage job to be able to make use of smp or mpp and parallelism techniques provide configuration file controls the degree of parallelism that a data stage job can use Understanding the characteristics of configuration file and to be able to create a configuration file can help in improving the performance of the jobs. When data stage is installed, a default configuration file would have been created which is default.apt. This default file will be available. We can create our own configuration file, give it any custom name and place it in any location in conductor node main server from which we kickstart our data stage job. In order to use the new config file that we defined, we will have to set the new file path to the environment variable apt config file which is under the job property as shown in this screenshot. We can call configuration files with different settings and use any of them in the data stage job depending on the settings that we are interested in. This is the syntax of a configuration file. We use braces at the beginning and end of the file. Comments can be added uh, within this kind of syntax. Nodes should be defined with the key node with and the node in can be written inside braces. We can create mo more than one node definition within this configuration file. The node information can contain the options such as fast name, pools, resource. We will talk about these options in the later slides. Node. To define a node in the configuration file, we use the keyword node to the node. Nodes are logical rather than physical servers. In SMP system, we could define multiple nodes per name or fast name. In MPP systems, we may create logical nodes for each available servers in the MPP cluster. Theoretically, you can create any number of nodes using the configuration file. Yet, practically, the number of nodes should be limited depending on the available resource capacity. So, fastname refers to the physical server that can be identified over the network. So whatever server you are using to run data state job, you may use that name here. So this should be the name of the physical server and this should be the name that you want to give to the node. Pools are useful in grouping certain number of nodes. For instance, we may group the nodes with high memory capacity that is servers which are having large storage disks or large uh, memory space together into a pool and use this pool for operations requiring more memory by passing some random node to that pool in this case i have assigned the node to a default pool denoted by double quotes empty double quotes then we can create uh, any like we can give any name over here so I created a pool. So this node assigned to pool and also it is assigned to my, then a conductor pool. So in the configuration file, let us say I am creating one more node, one name uh, cell whatever. And there you can uh, say uh, again say pools equal pools with the default uh, node and uh, you may assign that uh, node to my node two only over there. So we can configure a, a, a empty double quotation marks referred to the default pool. Even if you do not assign the node to any pool, it will be assigned to the default pool. You may restrict the overall data stage job or stages within the data stage job using the options available within the data stage job or stage properties. In this example, I have shown a sequential files property yeah, under the properties uh, stage tab you have this option called node pool and resource constraints where it will pick up uh, the available nodes 
so in my configuration file i had defined run over that pool only so this option will be used only when you want to construct uh, data stage stage to a particular node other than the ones defined in the configuration file you can use disk and scratch disk with resource is used for permanent storage disk is used for temporary storage it is often used by the sort stage for storing data temporarily also when the buffer memory goes out of space scratch disk space will our scratch disk is nothing but a your system. you assign certain file system uh, in your uh, hard disk uh, for permanent storage purpose using the keyword disk and uh, and and certain directory for temporary st storage purposes as explained we can assign disk space and scratch disk space to various pools as shown over here the empty double quotation marks or the empty braces refers to well here you see my in, in the resource disk i have pool 1 if i to pool 1 hold the scratch disk directory as well this pool 1 and that pool 1 would be completely different pools even though their names are same about is buffer scratch disk under certain circumstances the parallel engine uses both memory disk storage to buffer virtual data set records per buffer per processing node is used. in data stage job the links which you see in between uh, two stages could be considered as virtual data will not be stored in any permanent storage place or in scratch the buffer memory by default uh, memory the buffer memory is exceeded the income if the incoming data is too high and the uh, buffer to hold the, the will try to scratch disk space but we do not want to use all the directories we have in the scratch disk for buffer so we can constrain what scratch disk to be used during those condition so if you define a buffer scratch disk the configuration file the parallel engine uses the scratch disk pool when needed rather than the default scratch disk for buff and all other scratch disk pools defined are used for temporary storage only so in this screenshot we have assigned the scratch scratch disk space scratch 0 to the pool buffer and even in node 2 we have uh, assigned the scratch disk space scratch 0 to the pool since we have used this uh, keyword whenever a condition arises that the data is to use scratch disk for uh, it will use the scratch 0 space only it can use both scratch 0 let us see a sample job and configuration file this is one sample configuration file here you can see i have named my uh, main computer node as conductor uh, i have uh, named it as conductor because uh, this is the node on which my data stage job is be started and the other nodes i have uh, used them as compute 1 so basically i have uh, named my both of my compute one compute two uh, over my uh, second computer my father, so you can see uh, on my second computer i have created two nodes like this okay and if uh, i am using work data sets pools is default pools and for scratch disk work work node so all the temporary work node and uh, any permanent uh, file which we are creating that is uh, data set files will be stored in work data sets in job i am usually 
a two node configuration file in the previous slide I job I'm using two node configuration yes I'm creating two data sets over here one data set is under work extra output and another one is work extra output one dot yes so after running this job these data sets are created here you can see in my main computer under the location which we mentioned over here the data sets are created basically you should see the shell over here they have been stored in different partitions or different uh, nodes which we defined in the configuration file now i'm going to or uh, in which i am so the disk space was work data sets under work data sets you could see the output 0.ds and output 1.ds it's act the actual data even if, if the size of the files are way bigger than what you see in the main data sets so how do you create a configuration file using data stage designer as shown in the screenshot you can navigate to tools configuration and this configuration window will pop up there under this configurations drop down menu you can select new option to create a new configuration file or you can view the existing configuration files in the uh, system so it will show all the configurations which are available in the server thank you for watching this video if you have any questions or comments please post them in the feedback section Thank you so much.